What up, people? It's your boy, Master Judy, out here with another comic review. So we got Detective Comics, uh, 1026, another Joker War tie-in. And what I've noticed with Detective Comics is that it seems to be side missions. We saw one mission with Batwoman where they try to, when they freed Lucius Fox, took down the depot. And this time around, we see Batman is cornered, is cornering uh, Killer Croc. So let's get into it. So we see that the Joker's war, war, Joker's raging a war, and Gotham's in the middle of it. The eye of the hurricane, and we see I like this where Batman is just with the gargoyles. It's pretty nice. So he's just reminiscing. He says all we can do, we're doing all we can, putting out the fires before they rage. All hell breaks loose on every street corner. And so Batman's just watching, he's trying to stay vigilant, and then he realizes that uh, Killer Croc comes out and takes them back out. Takes um both of his uh takes this officer's partners out and you just see you know and Batman's like hey maybe you should stop <laughs> firing in case you hit your friends like what happened who did this it's like big guy scales thing like that croc thing you hear about in the sewers grab my buddies my security company ordered us to visit a few banks before bringing the money and bring the money to the vaults to a more secure location like hmm it's not like croc to leave behind money behind strange that grabbing the cards is more important so we see nearby you um. This uh lizard thing is grabbing people, so Batman's like this. Um he's like he's like saying, I'm gonna go to this and he's like, What about my people? It's like, don't worry, I think the scream's gonna lead me right to him. So Batman enters the sewers and then he realizes that the whole place is highly toxic. Extensive immersion in Justin will result in mutation of genes and death. It's like so I'm on the clock, got it. So he tries to use uh, infrared. And we just see that he's just going about tracking them down. And the art's great, of course. It's Kenneth Rockefeller. And then we find Killer Croc. And I say, hello, Batman. I want to introduce you to some of my friends. You got Ratty Riz, Hardback, Gup, Ally, Garter, Bandit. <laughs> then Batman's like, I heard you turned a new leaf and kept yourself out of the Joker's war. So we just see like this, like saying, well, Bats, after I turned that leaf over again after the clown soldiers ended up putting a hurt on my part of the city and the hotel that was mine. So we find out that there was Gotham City Monsters, where Killer Croc was a huge um, factor in that. So it was like, I decided enough was enough and came back down here where monsters are born, where monsters dwell. Thanks to a hell of a lot of this toxic sludge I've siphoned off and stashed away, I've decided to create my own monster town. Here in the shadowy shadows while the pasty faced cloud fights his war, where hopefully we'll be left alone. Or else. It's like, your friends, what happened to them? The Joker. What happened to them? That's what. His clowns were looking to spread some joy and hit, hit Ace Chemicals. They blew. <laughs> Ace Chemicals is still standing. You have to wonder how long that place is still going to stand. But pretty much they blew up the chemicals. The chemicals got in the sewers and down. You had some conscientious objectors here who were holed up in the city. They just wanted to get out of the way. And this looks like a Cloudy Nine, <laughs> but this is definitely classic Rokafer right here. But long story short, they all got infected with the toxic sludge, and they were saved by Killer Croc. And he's like saying, I saved all those people from drowning, and I'm going to take going to save even more people by taking them down here. Away from the sanity, pretty much. He's going to save them pretty much like this. And, um, <laughs> Batman's like, well, I hate to break it to you, like, what if I told you that you were only building death, that though I sampled the water, and anybody who's pretty much exposing them to that sludge, you're going to kill or infect, and he's like saying, I'd say you lie. That jaw is really accentuated. So the city much tells Batman to kill, to kill Batman, so, you know, he's like saying, there's no sign of him, like, he can't hold his breath forever, he's got to come up at some time. So Batman comes up, knocks out all the opposition. It's like, Batman, you put me down. I'll let you take us in. I put you down, you walk right the hell out of here. Not without the people you pulled from above. And he's like saying, deal. <laughs> so they begin to fight. For if Batman wins, you know, he gets to save the hostages. And he'll turn himself in. But if not, <laughs> hey. So they have a great fight. It's nothing but action, as usual. Nothing but action. And so... Pretty much, Batman wins. It's like saying, if anything can be done to reverse the effects you've suffered due to toxic chemicals, it will be. It'll take, it will be. Take some solace that you're at least alive. And then um, he talks to Croc. So he's pretty much jailed them. I don't know what this is. 
Yeah, this is Arkham. So, it's like, the people you abducted are safe and sell. You put up a hell of a fight, but a deal is a deal. I appreciate you honoring it and helping me get your crew here for treatment. And then Croc gives, like, a pretty good speech. He's, like, saying, hey, this battle, this struggle to keep a sense of normalcy, just when I get a taste of it, it's taken away. This life is a living death. And Batman's like saying, it does, this doesn't excuse what you did in kidnapping those people, but I can't blame you for giving in to your emotions. We all do. I find my mask harder to take off lately, but you have to try harder. At least you have a mask. I can't take this off, ever. And Batman's like, hey, we've all had something taken away from us that ends up changing us. It's not giving in to the darkness that defines us, Waylon. He said, thanks, Batman. For what? Using my real name. And this is where I really get um, the sense that they really bombed for the Batman animated series where Batman tries to empathize with his villains. So I really like this. Um, yeah, Peter J. Tomasi, great writer. Kenneth Oka for the artist. And all of these people, Daniel Brown, colorist, Rob Blaze, and letterer. So where do I want to end this? Blah, 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 blah. I think I'll end it um, right here with Croc and Batman engaging in common. So this was another um, this is another tie-in. This is definitely like um, this is definitely the definition of a tie-in. You know, this is like a side mission within the Joker War that you know you'd expect in Arkham. You know, you got to stop Killer Croc this way to court to do that, and so on and so forth. Um, we really get to see a lot of Batman's empathy, which, you know, people tend to sometimes forget to emphasize. And I like, appreciate Tomasi for that. So I give this an 8.5 out of 10. So thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the notifications to make sure you're notified. And comment below to give me your opinions. Once again, I do these comic reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to have more videos up tomorrow. Peace.